just running a little test trying to see so what's good with y'all. Told y'all, bro. That. This thing here? Well, this thing here, serious, bro. some of that on though. Huh? Yeah, this thing, I don't know what this is, but it, it grew real quick. Yeah, I know. It's something, no, but no kind of trim. Yeah, if you got one, bring it, yeah. Bring it to, yeah, just, just plug it up and leave it there. I, I get it. I don't need that for this. I, I need that for that, for, for that tree right there. Uh, anybody watching this, y'all know what this is. Y'all tell me what kind of tree this is. What kind of wood this is. Like what you do with it. Can you make some tea with it or you know what it is? Now this thing go crazy. So, Paul's like, Paul was saying it was Blackfoot Indian, right? Yeah, Paul's saying it was Blackfoot. I got the pictures in there. I'm Look, listen to me. Go up there to Walgreens and make us some pictures. I want to ask you a question, though. Okay. He Blackfoot, so he came on the slave ship, you, yeah. you don't know. I, I was his family already here. Uh, they don't speak of it. They don't speak of it? I know okay. Grandmama now. They came. Nah, I'm talking about strictly the Blackfoot Indian side. There's a lot going on here. A lot of people out here, they saying that black people was already here. The slave ship never happened. That slave ship happened, right? Yeah, slave ship happened. Okay, that's 70 years, 70 years old uh, telling y'all that the slave ship happened. The slave ship happened. Oh, we grew up in Mississippi. That's where they dumped most of the slaves. Right. Hey, nigga, why you got so rich? Give me, give me a hundred slaves. And tell us, whoever that is, only a, I've been to the museum in Mississippi. Only a hundred people in the whole state had them. Poor people didn't have slaves. So was Blackfoot Indians already here, yes or no? Yeah, they was here. And they was dog skin? Yes, black. So the original Indians dog skin? Okay, Indian, a Cherokee is like a Hispanic. Live in a whole different house, don't mess with feathers. I'm going to the museum. Well, okay, so how did the... Listen to me, over 10,000 years those Indians been here. This was their country. Okay, okay, so listen, so how did the black Indians treat the, the, the brother? Yeah, okay, when the slaves ran away, they ran to there with the Indians and they were free. Okay. And they made it with them too. Right, okay. White man never made it with us. He did, okay. rape, he did rape some he, of the he people. He raped all the kids. Trade. Yeah, but whoever that is, you know what you tell them? Go to the library. They got written the history of slavery. The white people keep a record. They know exactly who the slaves were. Like everybody want that money, that $2 million they're going to give us. That man said, uh-uh, not one foreigner will get that. That will only be for the black. 
like Americans. We came here as slaves. So don't let the crackers fool you. They know who the slaves are. These crackers are German. They keep delivering. If you ain't no pure black American, you get a dollar. Look closer, man. I'm right here recording. I don't know if they can hear you. No, they would sing like a, a, a language that, that we can't understand. So people, are you recording this? Yeah, don't touch it, man. So the, the Blackfoot Indians was already the Indians was already here. In the America. Indians have always been here in America. Yeah, they were dark skinned. They were black. Okay. And if you don't believe it, go out to Mikisuki and look at those Indian pictures on the wall. The men have on dresses, and they're blacker than me. Okay, so the slave trade from Africa, a lot of people say it didn't happen. It really happened? It really happened, but those are the original Indians. The Miccosukis are, it's just like the Spanish. If you ever go to any Spanish islands and stuff, they have black, they have light skin, and they have African. Dark, dark, dark. So that's the way the Indians are. The Miccosukis, black. So, so a lot of Cherokee look Hispanic. All right, so a, a lot of black people in America, a lot of them, they mix with Indian because when the slaves ran away, they went to slave. When a slave ran away, he ran to an Indian reservation, and they did not send him back, or he went to Canada. Other than that, they was going to take him back because slaves were extremely valuable, and especially the men. The men, I saw this at the Museum of Fine Natural History and Science and Art in New York. They had a little tiny bathroom, about the size of a bathroom in the room, on slavery. And they kept saying that uh, a male slave around 2030 went for $500. He was valuable because he could work. But a female with three children, she only went for $300. $300. That's all a woman was worth because she couldn't work like a man. And to this day, I don't care what women say, they cannot work like a man. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. A man is stronger, he worked longer hours. And the woman was good though because she reproduced children. He went back got, in got. the house. The woman could reproduce children and they could, you know, increase the slave trade. That was important too. And they breeded the blacks. Don't let them fool you. They breeded us. They taught our black men to go from Polish, um, plantation to plantation. That's what they taught us to do. And I'd be damned if he ain't still going from door to door. So anyway, uh, I like thank you. And next time y'all want me to talk, let me know, and I'll tell you some more. I know all about slavery. They used to hold them, drop them off in Key West. I see, I've been in the place where they used to hold them at. And I've seen, well, I've never been to the place in Africa, but one day I'm going there. It's, it's called something. But that's where oh, they... Ghana, you talking about, oh, you, you talking about Ghana, Africa? Where Ghana, talking, where they used to take them away. And they had to hold them first to get them all packed. 
And so many of them died. I also saw the slave ship Maria, Santa Maria. She came to Miami one time. And they show. The slave ship, they still got it? Yeah, she comes here every once in a while. They tour. It's called the what? Slave ship Anta Maria. Oh. But the mistake was the reason so many died was because they said we were part animals and they, they, they hooked us up like they would a cow or something. Humans have to move around and this trip from Africa is like a month or more. Plus they stopped in all the islands. And if humans don't move around, you know, they have a lot of problems and they die. Come on out of there. Oh, come on. All right. Sorry about that interruption. What, he threw the, the saw? Yeah, I'll pick it up. Go over there and play with your toys. Go play. So anyway, slavery was ugly and it was inhumane because, uh, and, and when they got old, the slave got old, like the men got old and the women got old, they told them to get off their land. They would no longer feed them or take care of them. And my mom told me that they used to uh, cook. And when she finished cooking, she always sent a plate down to the old people. Because when they got old, they, they couldn't work and they had no use for them and they wouldn't even feed them. Now that's Christianity for you. <laughs> yeah, somebody you don't work you to death. And when you, and mama, my mama said, she remember when Social Security came before Social Security, they had nothing. White people had all the money. And if you want to get rich quick, you get some slaves, and you don't have to pay them nothing. And you should have seen the way they live. It was inhumane, little old. I seen some of their houses. Oh, you want to make sure that you get the 